Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here. And um, well, I'm a bit late in filming today. In fact, I was a bit late putting my yesterday's video up as well. Um, and I'm gonna put it out there, I'm gonna blame Gary. Because um, we were gonna go to a shop, so or a couple of little places. And then I kind of said, well, we go, we'll go to the range then, have a look for some yarn. Victoria sent me a video of her local range stocked with yarn. So I wanted to see if um, the one at Chapman Dockside was the same and see what I could get. So um, if we stopped at one shop for Gary, we must have stopped at, ooh, I don't know, about six or seven. By the time we got to by the time we got to the range, I was quite frazzled by <laughs> such a such a taxing day. Anyway, we had a little look round and we both found some clothes that um, will either do, um, if they don't kind of, you know, do for best, um, they will certainly be able to use them on holiday. So that was good. And um, yeah, um, went in the range and got some yarn and did a yarn quest, which is already up so if you haven't seen it don't forget if you can watch the short as well it's 30 seconds so it's not really long um i had a bit of a morning though i decided to have another crack at doing my passport now the the oh, yeah no yeah they're horrible aren't they passport photos but this this is the rubbish that i got from the booth they are typical passport photographs. Horrible. Glum looking. Look like a criminal. Not even a smooth one either. So um, there's this little boojit down there that, you know, you put your camera on, QR code thing. So first time um, it was asking me for a number and I thought oh, there's no number, it's just a QR code. So... This time I thought maybe if I put the QR code on the phone I'd get a number, which I did, but it wasn't the right number, so that didn't work. So I tried, <laughs> uh, I tried all sorts. In the end, I took a selfie and it rejected it. So I took another selfie um, because it, my eye, looking at the camera, my eyes seemed closed. I couldn't open them any wider um, unless I did it kind of looking like that. In the end, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do it. And it accepted it. I was like, what? So I had to remove the background and it accepted it anyway. So that was fine. It was a good enough picture. Um, I managed to find um, details of my passport on my old computer. And so I put it in. But they said, there was a little disclaimer that said, we will not work on this until you return your old one. Which is five years nearly out of date. Four years at the four years and some change. I mean, why? Why would I have to return that? It's not like, <laughs> and it's it's European as well. That's it's not even kind of UK. So anyway, I'm going to give it a few days, and if I can't find it, if I'm going to check a few more places. If I don't find it, I'm going to ring them and say, "Look, I'm sorry, I've lost it." Um, I know I said I have it, but I, it's just can't find it and see what they say because obviously I don't want to delay it coming but it got done anyway that's the main thing so let's do let's do this so um have I not done it since the double grogu Friday no no yeah that's right that's it losing track losing track of what day it is yeah wow well, we know what's happening now, don't we? Not a double Grogu. So we're going to keep that one. And then we're going to look. This is really dark for me. But when I look on here, it sort of brightens up a bit. And you can see it. But, you know, we just stick at this one. Dinner's done. Hello. I'm back. If, uh, you might not have noticed that I went. But I had to go for dinner. Hang on a sec. This is a bit dodgy, isn't it, in here? after what's been occurring oh it was lovely gary made homemade kebabs 
he buys pita breads and we had barbecue chicken and so a pe lemon and pepper chicken didn't really eat much of that one although it is nice um and the barbecue one wasn't really strong and we have that with salad and then we had a few chips from the active fryer it was all very nice and healthy <clears throat> although i've um i've eaten too much really cheers a banquet I have no idea what I was talking about before. I was called away to dinner at all. He said to me, oh, it'll be about 20 minutes. Well, that's long enough to do a video. It was about five. So <laughs> I was like, oh, great. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, nice and sunny out there now. Typical, really. You go out and it's gloomy and the ground's been wet with rain over the last few days. And then you come home and the sun comes out. Pretty typical, really. Um, so we've caught up with the House of the Dragon, which is a bit sad because we've got to wait now until new episodes appear. And I think they come on a Monday. I can see myself on my, on my laptop. It's distracting. It was, move it down so I can't see it um yeah so we've um we've got to wait now to catch you know for the next episode hate that they should just put them all on and you can watch them at your own pace got tissue here there's um quite a bit of ice in my drink so it just keeps um leaving water marks everywhere you know wet wet rings where the condensation so it was a bad day just a bit rushed and um gavin wanted to get um more plants for the fish tank <laughs> and so we went in there we went everywhere except he didn't get to all the shops he wanted that was a gurgle that was a gurgle that's my story and i'm sticking to it, it was a gurgle it's weird how that happens. It's just sort of like, annoying. Very, very annoying. Anyway, um, I've, it's completely put me off the stride. I have no idea what I was talking about and what I have spoken about. So he, yeah, he wants me to cut his hair. Um, I had to sort out his OVO energy thing earlier this morning, as well as, you know, do the passport. We rushed out, come back, doing my videos you've got to cut his hair go pack orders <laughs> it's like no rest for the wicked whoever said when you get older that you start to put your feet up a bit it's my own fault isn't it i take on stuff i just end up getting everybody's jobs as well that's the way it is so i brought these in so that i can review them as well and guess what i noticed after I said that I'd got these and I was going to review them, Jada from Jada in Stitches. It's a very good word name for her, isn't it? Because she's always so giggly. She's always so <laughs> highly kind of dizzy is the word. So um, she did it and I thought, that's what I was going to do. I said it first. Oh well. Maybe she watches me. <laughs> <clears throat> Can you imagine if she did when I when I have one of my funny moments? I think <laughs> she'd laugh so much as she'd split. Besides, of course, I mean she's rather zany. She is. Um, I always forgot to tell you, let me think. Um, so this weekend, um, Gary, I was going to start my diet. Gary's making me string it out. So I said, I'm not buying any more sweet stuff. Just going to go kind of on the wind down and then ready to start Monday. And he said, oh, should we have Santa Monday? I think it was like potatoes. And I think, no, we won't have all this stuff left over. And I went, 
See, this is plot all along. It buys too much stuff, strings it out a little bit longer. But I'm definitely going to do it. That's the end of the line. But I kind of agreed to this little hiatus, if you like, to get past the England game um, so that Gary can have his beer and we can have, he wants to have a pizza watching the match. So I don't really like pizza. I find they sometimes really cramp my stomach with a sneeze. <coughs> that was taking me by surprise. Another one's coming. <coughs> Oh, that was a louder one. I have very loud sneezes. It was, that was me trying to stifle it because they can be really, you know, mega. That was strange. I wonder what that, wonder what got up my nose. I wonder, I wonder what it was. I have no idea. Oh, no more, I hope. Oh. Well, out now, need to have a look. Honestly, right on the way back from the shopping, I was I just said to carry I had a really splitting headache on the way out, and I took some painkillers with some water. and I said, Look, I just want to chill, don't you know, just leave me alone for a bit. I want to chill, I agree, really this headache. But on the way back, I could not stop yawning. I was, I was just constantly like, Ugh, my face open. And in the end, I went, I, I just could go to bed when I get in. But I think all I needed was a cup of tea. Did we even have a tea? I think we did. I can't remember now. I, don't, I certainly got a soft drink, but <coughs> asthma. Here we go. Um, something allergifying me at the minute. Uh, <clears throat> I try not to sniff. I've sneezed, so I try not to sniff. I don't want to blow my nose, for goodness sake, what's going on? Anyway. Um, if you haven't seen my yarn quest, give it a watch. Um, big, 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 big balls. Really big. Can't stress how big they are. What I found odd is that they don't display um, a grammage of a yardage. No, they have a meterage, actually. Don't even say yards. But they have no grams. No, when it, I mean, <clears throat> even Poundland puts the grams on. Whether I trust what they say or not is another matter of it. Even they print grams. I know most people go over to the fact that, you know, you worry about what how many metres or yards you've got <clears throat> rather than grams. But it seems weird that, that it's not there. So anyways, I've got so much to do. Um... This won't be a very long second half of my chat. And I've got to put them together. Oh, I just sussed out how that worked the other day. <laughs> it was more miss than hit, I'll tell you. Right. I was gonna say it's hit and miss, but it was more miss. How I managed to do it, it was like, oh, why is everything, every single thing I'm doing goes, it's not just me, it's technology. You know, I went out into the, Yana van earlier to see if my passport details are on that computer. It's my old, old one. I thought it was definitely be on there. It's the one that used to be in the living room. Definitely I will have it on there and I don't go on it that often to delete stuff. So um, <coughs> I booted it up. Didn't recognise the keyboard. I thought, what? It's had the same keyboard for ooh, 20 odd years must recognize it so that maybe it's because it doesn't have any batteries so i had the battery compartment out put new batteries in did it all up and did a restart didn't recognize it and it made me put in a code <laughs> it sent me a code on the screen to put in to accept it and i thought well it's a bit counterproductive i could see the code i could type it in if i wasn't me it would still be the same Anyway, I got in it in the end. And as luck would have it, it had it on there. But I'm going to really have to, you know, go to town and find this blooming thing. I don't know. I hope I can. I hope I can. Otherwise, I've got to ring him and try and wriggle out of it somehow. And it will probably be problematic. 
but I am kind of running out of time. I mean, I, I, if I'd have done that when I very first, when Gary very first booked that holiday, well, mind you, it'd probably be a year old that passport. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get off. I seriously need to go blow my nose and uh, upload this video, cut Gary's hair, go and do my postage and make sure I put my video on. And I wouldn't mind, but it's, um, well, quarter past six already. Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, Gary's at work tomorrow, so hopefully everything will be at the normal time for me and I won't be doing all this late stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, guys.